Hey guys, today's video is going to be a DIY. They are the whip faux uh, whipped cream for your Ray Dunn mug. I did do this and I consider this a failed DIY, but I wanted to share this with you guys just so you guys don't make the same mistakes as I did. But I will tell you guys in some of the parts where I messed up and what tips and tricks that I think that you should skip and maybe do different than what I did. Um, these are always trial and error, but I thought they came out okay, not the greatest. And I will try and remake these again, just a little bit different. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and stay tuned to some of the parts where I actually tell you what not to do. First we're going to start off with this open star tip from Walmart, it's by the brand Wilton and I did pick this up for about $1.50 um, and then these crafts, I don't think I use these in this video but they're just buttons from Hobby Lobby, always pick them up 50% off and also these little gingerbread, they are in the regular section like in the mini crafts and they are $1.99 but always use a 40% coupon. Okay, so what you're going to need is some uh, sprinkles of any kind. I do have these Wilton disposable bags. Um, these are $4 at Walmart. These, this is what the bag looks like. Um, you're going to need your Ray Dunn mug or any mug. I have two different kinds. I have a little one and then I have the big one. I have some straws. You will need to cut these down smaller um, these are going to be for these little ones I can't tell you the exact measurement because it really depends on how big you want them so you will have to cut them down you need some cardstock um, to trace your mugs and then some scissors I am working on just some some paper I have you'll need a spoon and something to mix the uh, stuff in and then I do have a cup to put the um, the bags in so what you'll be doing is putting the bag in here I have oh sorry I have this uh, fast and final lightweight spackling this is what you'll need and it's by the brand dab so you will dap I'm sorry um, you will need the lightweight spackling so what you want to do is take the bag and cut the bottom to about right there I don't know what's wrong with my scissors but so what you want to do is put in this you'll put it in the bag and you just want to push it all the way to the tip so and I might have cut it a little too much but that's okay they're not it's not gonna come out so after you do that you want to head and take a cup and basically put it in there this is what you'll be adding the speckling to is inside of here Now what you want to do is take your mug and just trace it on the cardstock and cut it out. I'm not going to share that with you guys because you guys know how to trace and I'm sure you know how to cut. So basically I just um, flipped my mug over and then I traced it so that's how I did that. Once you have these cut out just set them aside. 
I just did two big ones and then two small ones because I don't know what I'll need. So I'm just going to set them aside for now. I'm going to take my spoon and container and we're going to take the, um, the DAP, the lightweight speckling. And like I said, I don't know how much this will make, but this is a 16 fluid ounce. And I'm going to take, because you can see, it's not really white. It's kind of like a grayish color, so I want it white. So what I'll do is I'll mix it in with some white apple barrel acrylic matte paint. So let's put in some of the paint. And then the spackling. I think I'm just going to do the entire thing. I want it really white. I don't want like any color of that grayish to come out. <clears throat> okay, once you have it mixed, you're gonna put it inside the cup in the bag and just go ahead and put it in there. Like I said, I'm not sure how much I'll make, but I will find out <laughs> once. <laughs> this is all in there and I actually make it okay once you're you have it filled you're gonna take it out of the cup and you're just gonna press this all the way down you're gonna see how the top is so you're just gonna kind of you don't want to make a mess but you want to squeeze squeeze it down Okay, I have my paper, so I'm going to go ahead and start. Okay, and this is where I actually failed completely. The spackling is way too like lightweight and too soft. And it's just kind of like becoming a puddle, if that makes any sense. But I would suggest you leave the spackling in the container for about 30 to an hour. Just let it get thick and maybe a little bit harder. So when you do put it onto the paper, it'll be a little bit thicker and it won't just kind of become a big puddle of spackling. If, like I said, that makes any sense because it was too soft and it was just kind of drooping and going just flat. So my suggestion is maybe not use the lightweight one. If you have seen the cock in the containers in like the tube form, maybe try that. Um, also, they are a little bit cheaper than the spackling in the container. And maybe try that. But I will be doing it again. Um, not using the lightweight, but... I will say the one in the tube does take longer to dry. It takes about, for, for me and my first time, it took about three to four days. This lightweight one actually took about a day and a half to dry. So that I will let you know. Um, so if you want to try the lightweight one, just like I said, uh, leave it 30 minutes to an hour in the container before you put it in the bag. But you see how like kind of they just became just kind of puddles um, and flat so that was my mistake um, so I actually do redo them and hopefully you will see that in this next part where I actually do them all over again I just poured them back into another bag and then redid it <laughs> This is where 
where I did them all over again. As you can see, the spackling is a little bit harder. Um, it looks not so soft, but I let it sit for 30 minutes. Uh, my suggestion is maybe do it for an hour just to let it get a little bit more thicker. But I did just pour them back into another bag and then um, redid them. So the last part will just be adding sprinkles and adding your straws. It really depends on um, the sprinkles that you have. My suggestion is maybe using um, not sprinkles because they actually bleed and you can maybe take some glitter. I mean it doesn't look as realistic but maybe you can add some glitter. I am adding these little straws. You can just find these at Dollar Tree, um, Hobby Lobby. They're really everywhere. Um, with different types of patterns but I just went ahead and cut them down it's really preference how big you want them and then you can add like the gingerbreads or you can add any type of embellishments I did have some like candy some faux candy from Hobby Lobby so I went ahead and added those but like I said maybe don't use the sprinkles because the sprinkles do bleed onto the spackle um, next time I would probably use some glitter or um, some faux sprinkles but this is what I had on hand um, and this is what I use so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did give me a thumbs up and I will talk to you guys in another one and I hope you guys enjoyed my failed attempt at the faux whipped cream topper for your Ray Dunn mugs